What's up, everyone? And welcome down to another episode of Zetro's Toxic Vault. Now, if you're a horror fan and you grew up in the Bay Area in the 70s and the 80s, you knew about a show called Creature Features. Everybody knew about this show because at that time, you didn't have many channels to choose from and horror movies were few and far between. So I knew that every Friday or Saturday or sometimes Friday and Saturday nights, they would run this show. And I'm actually wearing a shirt from the host. This was the man. This is one of my gods right here, Mr. Bob Wilkins. He was the original host. The show ran from 1971 to 1984. Uh, Bob was his host from 71 to 79, and then another fellow who was really, really talented named John Stanley came in and took over. Great, great author, great writer. This guy has a really good vision of horror. He did a movie, and I love his movie. They actually show it on Creature Features from time to time. But unfortunately, after 1984, the show went away. Well, known to me, somebody said, hey, Centro, Creature Features is back. And I was like, no way. And sure enough, it wasn't on KTVU TV2, but it was on TV Coffee TV20. And I turned it on and oh my God, it was back. Almost the same format and everything. And I was so pleased. And over the past couple of years, I've been a guest on the show. So it was my turn to return the favor. So with me on the vault today, I have the show's host of Creature Features today, Mr. Vincent Van Dahl. Welcome to the show, dude. Setro. It's so nice to finally make it into the dungeon. I know, and you love the dungeon, don't you? you know, I, we have a dungeon at the home. I know. Well, but she, I won't go down there. She moldy. showed well because she showed it to me. This is I got to tell you a story about that. The first time I was at the Polter Mansion and I did the uh, show. Now they uh, they were showing me through. The, actually, Tangella was showing me through the mansion, and we got to that part where she has all of her. C4 and her nitroglycerin and her TNT and her bazooka and her hand grenades and her flamethrowers and all her nice little toys that she has down there. And so we were kind of going through that. And I remember we went up to the second part of the mansion and she kept egging me on going, do something rocker, like do something rock and roll here. And I'm like, okay, like what? She's like, just do something rocker. So I don't know. You remember I opened the window, I grabbed the TV and I threw the TV out the window. And then Livingston, the bu the butler, he came in yelling. He wasn't too happy about that. She's laughing her ass off. He's pissing and moaning at me. And I'm like, well, you know, she egged me on. You come in and you're like, what's going on? I told you, you start laughing too. And he's yelling at me. And I said, I look over him and said, well, he's got to pay for it. What are you yelling about? And you don't have to clean it up because you just send Andy to do that anyway. You know, so I just, I... The next time I did the show, I behaved. Remember I came in? It and was his television. It was his television. It was his television. Right. He he likes the old tube televisions. But it was so perfect because it smashed oh, so course. great no, when the it new ones, you went off the side. You and, toss an LCD out, it just goes thump. But you throw yeah. one of the original glass ones out. Yeah. Know. See, I thought it was Pop. just one of your one of your uh, props that you have around the Poulter Mansion now. Yeah, for, for all There's you no props. There's not one prop. I asked, I said, we need props. And they said, no, you have the real thing here. You don't need a prop. So, so well, then I, I yeah. well, you could tell it was real because when I threw it off and it crashed down the side. Now, the mansion is, is on a really tricky road to get up there, and the backside actually leans off into some rocks. So there was really nothing to clean. That stuff's going to be fossilized after after a certain well, We have goats. Yeah. Well, the goats. I and I'm told they, they eat, eat everything. They will eat television parts? And I'm told they eat televisions and microwaves. Really? I know they eat everything. I, I, I could be wrong. I'm not a farmer, but they're, they're, they're goats. Everybody says they eat everything, right? No? I don't know. Well, they eat the television. They might no, eat She's that. got babies now. They are babies. No, Tangela has baby goats. She has babies. Yeah, babies. There's a thing they do during the winter when it rains. They, they give birth. Really? It's a phenomenal. No, so what and how's I'm told, Tangella with them because she's she does husbandry, but I think with her it's called wifery because mm -hmm. of course she's not a husband. She's not a she's husband. Not a wife either. No, so. no, no she's the baby warden. goats. No, we're going to show one soon. You are a baby goat. You're going to bring it into. You're going to bring it in. Oh, she brings it in already. She does. Yeah, she and milks. it tracks all well, over the place. Apparently, one of the teats on the mother goat does not function. So she's got to manually oh my. milk 
this she one kid. She is being, isn't she? She's no, being very She's quite nice to animals. Matronly. No, she's quite nice to animals. People, not so much. Well, between um, her and uh, Livingston, you know, I mean, it's... How often do you have to play referee on that, you know? Surprisingly little, because uh, they tend to keep apart. Well, the mansion is big enough, so it, it, it is. is, you know. No, like, it is. But when we do the show, I have to bring everyone together, and that's when problems arise well yes uh, the monologues are always the uh there's always seem to be some mischief going when, you know when they I'm never watching. go as planned yeah it's always yeah. It's, always it's seem- like all right let's do something nice and present the film and the guest and then next thing you know she's uh, last last week we filmed one and she smashed poor andrew over the head with a sledgehammer he gets it constantly he's yeah, just you either i get the bill I, I bet you do. Poor, do you get the doctor bill from Andrew I because she pummels nail. him well, to death? We have we have a a Tangella health a t- policy. A Tangella fund. It, it is. It's we we have to pay for the injuries she causes the staff. That's amazing. It's sad. Now me. talk about resurrecting the show, and um, you actually work with one of the people that um used to uh actually work with Bob Wilkins, the original um, the, the original host, Mr. Tom Wersh. Tom Wersh. Talk about how you um, got together with Tom and decided to resurrect the show. I mean, it's honestly, you really have recaptured it. You know, I'm a, again, and I think all of the old fans of the show really um, feel the same way I do. It's still got that essence to it, the same type of movies are still being shown. And I Some do. would argue that we don't, do it as well as Bob did, and I, I would probably agree. Well, because it Bob had a certain vibe, and, 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 and it's the had. original. It's always hard to hurt the original, but I mean, if you're someone like myself that grew up on it, you know, I was what six or seven years old when it aired, you know, and I right. watched, it, and that was my formidable years as I'm watching creature features as this kid, and every Friday I'm like, uh, what time is it? Nine thirty tonight, or is it on eleven thirty tonight? You know, and right. I'm racing to watch, you know, Night of the Living Dead because there was. 13 channels back in those days. In England, you didn't even have that. No, you had no. three, right? It was uh, BBC One, no, BBC Two, and ITV, right? The only one we received was one and two. It was one and two. Because I lived on the other side of a hill in Luton, which did not have good reception. Oh. But fortunately, we did not have to pay the TV tax. Yeah. Well, you know, everyone in, in the UK has to pay a TV tax if they have a TV. Yeah, I heard about that. No, that's why there was the American Revolution because the Americans refused to play the tele- pay the television tax, and I, I frankly don't blame them. I I don't either. I don't. I do not blame them for that. Um, you uh, you you guys, what was that conversation like between you and Tom? I mean, did you call him? Did he call you? How did, how did that work? Was this was this? You had heard about the show. I'm sure you heard about the show in England because there's many factions of creature features, you know, that went on. But uh, talk about that. Actually, I saw a poster of something like this once. I said, "Who's who's that bloke?" And they said, "Oh, that's Bob Wilkins. He's he's an American." And I thought, "Oh, he looks like a good chap." But uh, no, I, I hadn't heard of the actual show till I was here and was about to do something similar, because there was a a program on the local station called Haunted Playhouse, and it was a similar format with the horror movies on weekends, except there was no host. Oh, okay. There was like a bloke who came on at the beginning and he would say, the movie tonight is this, goodbye. And then he'd show the film and that was it. So they needed to replace him and they wanted me to do a different program called, uh, it was some kind of rock and roll show. And I told him I, I did not want to do a rock and roll show because I was completely You're done with finished it. with rock and roll so <clears throat> but i was familiar with this other program and i said well what about this show and they said well we're going to cancel that show right and i said no you can't cancel it i'll do that show so i did that show instead and i began speaking to people about what they'd like in a show and they said well you got to do creature features because that was the thing and I did not know what Creature Features was. So, so I said, let's find the bloke who did Creature Features. And it, it turned out he was dead. So they said, but Tom Wersh is still around. And I found Tom Wersh and I spoke to him and I said, I need to do the show. And he said, uh, well, that's a good idea. I should help. And that's how it went. Was and he reluctant at first? 
a, a bit, but you know, with enough money, right? Right. Right. So, no, no, he actually enjoys it now. I'm glad. Because, no, well, he's he likes to direct, but for, unfortunately, has to do things where he has to direct and run the camera and do all kinds of things. So, with us, he just directs. Nothing else. Yeah, and he's quite um, um, established filmmaker himself on on, on a lot oh, he is. of really Indeed. great documentaries that he's right. done. Haunted Sonoma County, haunted yeah. wine yeah. country. Haunted he's wine, he's yeah. done things about the um, amusement park that used to be in San Francisco. Yeah, uh, um, uh, Playland. Playland, wonderful, yeah. wonderful yeah. documentary. I I was just I went to it one time before they tore it down when I was when I was a little kid. I think you're lucky. Laughing Sal, you remember Laughing Sal? I don't. Oh, it was a clown woman at the front oh, of the... Oh, yes, I do remember. Right. That creeped me yeah. out. Yeah, I, I bet a lot of reviewers yeah, from San Francisco sure know about Laughing Sal. So what's interesting, though, is that Creature Features and Playland were popular at about the same time. So they're almost the same. Yes, it was... Um, almost exactly the same, but different. No, the, the, they're um, Bay Area icons, both that of them. That they are, yes. And as far as... Creature Features being on Channel 2. Right. And now we're on 20. Channel 20. I think it's 10 times better this way, right? Well, it is. And I think that um, Channel 20 nowadays more exemplifies what Channel 2 did back in the day. Kind I of never right. saw back in the day with Channel 2, yeah, but I imagine so. you're correct. Because it's it was, all news now. Yeah, because it was before it was... It's all bad it news. It was cool, cool little... I mean, that's where you watch like reruns of Hogan's Heroes. They had dialing for dollars from one to three o'clock. Oh, I love was, Hogan's Heroes. They had shows like that. They right. don't show those right. anymore. I, I mean, love Lucy. I love Lucy. They showed that. Yeah. And then yeah, an every weekend show. I would run through the TV guide and go, Friday, 9, 30, no, Friday, 11. Okay, it's on 11 this week. The, the creature feature. Oh, it would them. move. It, some, well, it did sometimes. It would be like 9.30. And and then like six months later, then it would move maybe to eleven or something. And they did it twice. Sometimes they did they did two a night. They would be creature features, double feature tonight, nine thirty and eleven o'clock. Join oh, Bob Wilkins. And so it was like, um, and then some. It was on after the news, right? Yes, yes. So maybe if it was a slow news day. But if it was on Saturday, it, it sometimes went because it was mostly on on a Friday. And I remember that because I remember. They showed the first preview that I saw of Star Wars the day it came out, and I went and saw it the next day. Oh. But I knew it was coming out, but when I watched Creature Features on that Friday night, Star Wars had come out that day in 1977, and the next day morning I went and saw it, and I was like, you know, Bob was showing them the the trailer for the movie that was released, and that's... Where I saw that. Well, you know, you know, we we hear this all the time. Where it's like, <coughs> you know, the first time I'd ever heard of this thing was on Bob Hawkins' Creature Features. So he was he was almost like the CNN of horror for the Bay Area. If you talk to anybody, I tell them now because I'm very proud to say that Creature Features theme song is done by me. But I didn't write quite it quite well. I didn't write. Thank you. I didn't write it. I took. The old theme song from when Bob and John did the show. Well, it was just Bob, but I don't think John used nope. that after a while. It no. was just Bob. And then I, I just tweaked the, tweaked a little bit of it to... to no, it's much better now. The, to, the last one, it was too funky. Well, it was the 71. It was. So no, they did not just, have the technology. You could hear the wah-wah pedal had, exactly, in right. the guitar. So. No, you could hear, hear the bloke's foot yeah. on the pedal, so. the squeaking. So it was, so. Uh, but I wanted to, I, I was so honored to be a part of it, to do it. And, and I, I loved at least every week I can turn it on in here because I watch the show every week. I'm still a big fan. And I, no, so how did you get Trilogy of Terror? Because that's one of those great movies. I love that movie. You know, I tried, I tried, but Livingston made some kind of arrangement with somebody. So. I don't know. That's the business side. I just, you know, I, I stand from the camera. I make faces. I say, hello, tonight's movie is this. And that's now, really all I do. You uh, faked me out a couple of weeks ago because I tuned in and you said, 
One of my favorite movies of all time is uh, is The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. Oh, I love it as well. Yeah, and you, you screwed with me right. a couple of weeks right. ago, and I got The Claw instead. And uh, right. you said, oh, tonight's movie is, is uh, old, and you went through Don Knotts, and I was like, oh, my God, it's great, and The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. And then you got shot down. What happened there? We'd uh... So apparently the organ music in that film has some copyright issues, which we... So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the film and we're just going to redub the organ part. Put your organ parts in there. Right, yes. No, I could do it. Oh, I'm teaching Tangela how to play now. Really? Yes, she's getting quite quite good. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah. Now, talk about your guests. In the last four years, you've been um, very fortunate. I mean, you do a guest almost every single week. Talk about some of your favorites. I, I know some of my favorites... Uh, Kathy Coleman, yes. who played uh, Holly Marshall on Land of the Lost. Is Our one of most them. popular episode was that one. It's your populist. Most popular episode on YouTube. Really? Is the one with Kathy Coleman. And the reason why I know it's her and not the film is because the film was complete rubbish. So there's no way all these people, I think we're up to like 100 and... 10,000 people have watched wow, that, episode. that episode. It's our most of... popular episode. And it's not because of the film, because we've shown the film once before. And if you go back and look at that statistic for that film, it's nowhere near 100,000. But so I think she was um, the most popular. Great, great guest. Talk about it. She's the other... coming back. I know. She's coming I know. back in. I'll come March, up for I that believe. one. Yes. No, you should. I you will. Should. I will definitely. Sometimes she brings a slee stack with her. I love that. No, sleep. It's important. If you talk about Land of the Lost, that you must have a sleep stack with you. If not a bloke in a costume, then at least like a metallic well, I'll head. I'll take the bloke in the costume too. They do that at the right. conventions. You right. can actually right. sit in the boat with right. Will and Holly and and that is and and Chaka. The and bloke, the bloke in the in the sleep stack costume is actually Wesley's best friend. Yes. partner yeah it's best friend so, yep how cool is that small world and chaka does not look at all like chaka anymore well he doesn't i think he got americanized so he stopped he shaved. yeah he took all, right. all that It'll see what all happens right. you bring him to america teach him now i told him that i think he looked a bit better with all the hair on his face and he was not amused so <laughs> oh, i don't know so how do you keep how do you keep the the water from coming down into this room we have a we have a big giant spider that sucks it up we don't we don't have a problem with the water coming down here for some weird reason as i'm i'm very fortunate i'm here. looking into like it's not a humidifier it's a device that does the opposite what's it do i suppose it dehumidifies a dehumidifier oh i don't because know. now we've got what it literally you could you could like fill up a cup of water i don't know if no, i will I don't we know. it's terrible water. well we've gone through the winter a couple of times now here and we haven't gone through that you must have dry groundwater. You know how it's, it is out here. We're out in the valley. Not in like Bodega Bay. And doesn't it just rain no. over your house 24-7? It's, like? it's always moist. Yes. No, it's continuously moist. It's There's always some form of water coming down, whether it's rain, fog, or sea spray. So now, other than Kathy, who's been one of your favorite guests or a couple of your favorite guests that were interested in that you looked forward like you know when the executive producers came to you and said you're going to interview this person you're like oh wow I've always kind of wanted to do that was has there been anybody that close you? Michael Berryman I they said oh, oh wow you we're gonna have Michael Berryman on the show and I'm here well I, I don't know who Michael Berryman and is they and they said no was. they just said yes you do yes. and I said no I don't and they showed me a photo and that was and you oh. did the same thing to me actually I did. Yeah, yeah, because we called and I said, I said, what have you been doing? Remember we were talking and he right. said, oh, guess what? You're one of your, you know, favorite people. And it just, the name didn't ring. Michael Berryman. I know that name. I know right. that name. And you were like, you know, uh, Motley Crue videos, you know, right. I had, um, right. weird science. I was like, oh, that the hills have eyes. He's, he's done so much great he's stuff. Amazing. And he's, he's the sweetest man. Yeah. Absolutely sweet, sweet man. For somebody who looks like that, and I, I don't mean to, bring any shade upon the way he looks but he he was born with an issue he understands that and he has been able to monetize that oh he's monetized issue. that quite well he really has but he has got the sweetest and he's you know probably one of the most famous horror actors we have today right i would say identifiable right that, that he was definitely right. you know the, yeah. uh, identifiable so he, he was very kind you know who was quite amusing was uh, tom sizemore 
Yeah, you had him on too. We had him on a few years back, and he was um, he was complicated, but he was hilarious. It was uh, he 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 used a lot of four letter words, even though he knew we were on a broadcast. It was all right, you know. We cut it all out. Uh We we beeped him quite a bit. He he got lots of beeps on that particular episode, but he was quite interesting. He he's done so many things. Guy, he's done great stuff. Saving Private Ryan. He did. Right. He did a great he's horror movie that. called Relic that I really loved. I've not and seen that one. Yeah, he did. A, he was a really good horror movie called right. Relic. And right. Yeah, he was. A, he kind of shot himself in the foot there for a few years, unfortunately. That's uh, what I understand. Yeah. So, and, right. and, and, but you do Suzanne see Suzanne Snyder. Now. She was uh, in Weird Science as well. She was the blonde girlfriend. Oh, that's right. You had her on as well. She's local. She lives around here. Really? Right. No, she came up. She's absolutely wonderful. Lovely. She's still lovely. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember that episode. That's right. And Barbara Crampton. Yeah. She's a scream queen. She was in uh, maybe Chopping Mall, but uh, she was in uh, the one with uh, Reanimator. Yeah. um, She was in Reanimator. And um, and you also had Veronica Carlson. Yes. She's supposed to come back up. Oh, no, no. Uh, Veronica Cartwright's supposed to come back up. Right. Veronica Carlson, we've had twice, and uh, yeah, because we we'll did the convention she together. To she wants I, to come back. Oh, I want her back. Right. I, I love. She was She's such lovely. a sweetheart. She's lovely, and and I mean, so many famous Hammer movies this actress did, right. and you know, just right. she's she's a. Look in the seventies, just a beautiful blonde bombshell scream queen. That was right. just amazing. She's still, a, I think so too. She's still a blonde scream queen. Yes, she is. She can scream. She's, she is. She is very. Beautiful. We have uh, Candice Hillegas coming back. You in, do in uh, I believe March, end of March. Oh, well, you got a loaded. You got a loaded right. uh, thing yeah. going on in March. Yeah. Well, it's it's been surprising. Nobody's wanted to come up, and now all of a sudden they all want to travel. Yeah, well, everybody's kind of getting like you, the the fever, so you know, that, being inside, so they want to they want right. to go out and do things, and well, that know. makes sense, right? Yeah. What has been some of your favorite movies that you show? I know um, you're a horror guy, but not you like the cl- you like the classic stuff, you know? What I, I mean? do, yes, and, and and you'll beat on the stuff that needs to be beat on, no problem. Well, you know the one we showed with you. What was that drive-in? Oh yeah, uh, drive a movie massacre. We got so many complaints about that because it was just so much blood and brains and things. I was gonna say if I return sometime, could we show it again? Because I love that movie. You know, I I did not have a a, uh, an issue with it, but uh, some of the viewers because we have children watching. Yeah, I know. I I know that's true, but it's you know it is scary movies. You know what I mean? Right. And we did take the so favorite movies. What would I do? The uh, sex scenes were taken out of that, and the and, oh, the, and the bad words. There was a few. Uh, there was a few. Uh, well, you know, uh, shots in that movie that had to be. From what I understand, up. is is what we broadcast on the station, and what we do on YouTube is different. Uh huh. So, what goes on coffee, does not always have, the sweetener, and what goes on YouTube is pretty much anything. So if you watch a show on coffee, it's two hours with the commercials right and if you watch it on youtube it tends to go over two hours without the commercials Uh so that's how that works so you asked me a question about my favorite movies i think my favorite movie of all is still guatemalan handshake why because it's like napoleon dynamite but different it's got like a sci-fi twist to it no, I love I love Tangela Napoleon. Angela hates that every time she's. No, I love she's... Napoleon Dynamite. Okay, you like Napoleon. Dynamite, I love that right? movie forever. Right. The so. whole silliness of it all. So, I think the music kind of makes it too. The the little keyboard in it, right? Like, right. Totally, you know, it's like it is. low budget music to right. the movie. It's so, great. Uh, Guatemalan Handshake. I saw this film online, and I said, "Oh, I'd love to show it." So I'm calling the studios. I'm trying to find out, you know, who do I need to speak to to do it. And then finally, I just contact the director and I said, who do I need to speak to to put this on our show and what will it cost? And he said, speak to me, it will cost nothing. So, wow. How cool it? is that? No, that happens to us a lot. You know, you try to find this this obscure film, you find the person who did it, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, go ahead and run it. It's my film. Well, Wayne and I have actually stolen from your format. We've done a couple of movies here. We watched, was it The Slashing? We had a movie we did slashing in and bloody bloody Bible camp. Now you couldn't have shown either one of those because they They're were naughty. Um, naughty, but they yeah. were bo- naughty and body. But I had the funnest time 
doing that and 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 showing those you movies. Should, and, you know, there's there's not enough horror house. You should just do yes, a straight be. horror house. You show. you you have it cornered. I want. I'm a musician. I play in Exodus. No, that is well, what I, I do. Be, I used to be a musician as I well. Know. You could get past that. Prince of Darkness, by the way. If you're looking around and you want to know where you found, where you might have found Prince of Darkness, you can find some of his music. That's no, you can't. I thought you. I thought you have. No, I've been canceled. What? I've been canceled. They they erased everything off my Wikipedia. They've erased everything off of my uh, my my music. What's the music site where everyone goes to for Spotify? That that no no Spotify. It's all gone. No, Even the little riffy riffs that we were in. You be, there was no, one episode. The only thing left with. of me is on creature features, and I'll tell you why. I was accused wrongfully of biting the head off a live prawn. And that is not what happened. What happened was I was at a place eating lunch and it was cooked and the head was already removed. But somebody said, oh, I saw Vince Vandal bite the head off a live prawn. And that went around and I, I got canceled. Ugh, it's terrible. The world today. But it's all right. I do creature features and they, that, that crowd does not care if I bit the head off a live prawn. I know which I, I did don't not. care. I know I don't care if you do or you don't. No. I'd never heard a prawn. I, no. I, I wouldn't hurt I'd a shrimp. I'd let somebody else ki kill it first and then I'd eat it. Exactly. No, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. So what's coming up for you guys? What What do you got going on? Obviously, there's no contests or anything going on. You know, or I mean, um, um, conventions or right. anything like that. Right. No, I, I understand they're coming back soon. So that will be fine. But you know, I like to just meet people. I don't like to sit in a chair and like, sell things yeah so when i go to a convention i will not stay in my chair yeah we noticed that no i'm <laughs> i go out and i meet people and in fact if they don't say hello to me i will go up to them and say hello who are you so it's it's nicer that way yes yeah you know, the shy people out there you, you need to do this as well well they love they, they love to uh to get with you and livingston and tangella they really do because i'm sometimes at the right. next booth over and they know that i'm friends with you and they'll like say i want to get a picture with them and i'll be just go over there and tell them they'll take pictures with you i know some people actually charge for the photos you charge for your photos uh not much not, not much. much not much well i mean i charge i think it's what is what do we charge wayne five i think it's five dollars five dollars for my photo yeah i don't charge a lot of money for it well, some I make people, i've seen but some people charge no, I, 65 right? but i don't Charge to take a picture. Some it's, people charge it's, to it's take like a picture. It's like $400 to do it with Shatner. I know. That's what I was told. $400 for a photo with Shatner. That's terrible. No. I well, mean, he's. you don't think he's got enough money? Give back a little bit, right? Well, you know, a lot of that goes to the actual facility. They they handle all that. You go, you pay the facility, and then they sell the, the photo opportunity, and then... The star just stands there and takes it. And then at the end, they say, oh, you made this much money of all this money that we made. Wow. No, but I'm sure he has a set They almost price. killed Stan Lee doing this. Really? Yes. No, the last convention he did, they made him like pose like a thousand times. And the, 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 the poor man was, what, 90 years old, 100 years old? Vultures. Yeah, it's too much, you know? Probably got exposed to a lot of germs and viruses mm. right well tell everybody where we can see your show our mm. show so there's many places to see our show that's but why i want you to tell everybody because wayne place. will put it all like just like you know right. you he's gonna put like, it underneath he's here put it all underneath right there. That's so what the he does. best place to go to see our show or see how to see our show is to go to creaturefeatures.tv slash watch like Wristwatch. Creaturefeatures.tv slash watch. watch. Right. And that shows a list of all our online sources, our TV sources. I think there's a way to get a videotape if you really need one. Although Livingston will probably not approve. Uh -huh. But uh, no. And we've even got, uh, we, we apparently have people working on apps. Really? Like, so you can run it on your phone. Uh, that's what I want. I, I want mean, a Creature Feature Now app. imagine you're someplace, not by a television and you want to see creature features, you could just go, oh, look, creature features. Is well, I get stuck in many airports, so that would be awesome to be that able would be to important. tune in. Of course, you could do that on YouTube and Vimeo and all those Yeah, things. but I would support the app. That's it. That's the only place you can see us, unless you come up to the mansion. 
Okay, so now, well, you can see them every Saturday night at 9 o'clock on Co in the, here in the Bay Area, because we do have a lot coffee. of Bay Area viewers. Uh, coffee, TV 20. Right. If you if you want interested to watch the show, see what we're talking about. Never heard of it. Heard of that back in the day, but didn't know it was back. Check it out. I do the theme song for it. So that's where it, where can they get merchandise? Because you guys have killer, cool, like, cool shirts, yes. cool sweatshirts. We have a new one with a new skull. Uh, CreatureFeatureStore.com, I believe. I could okay. be wrong. We'll put that. We'll put that there. I'll but say the wrong, wrong one. He'll put up the and right then, but one. Rain, Wayne's going to put up the right right one, so we'll find out which creature. Which, feature, it, I creature, believe it's Creature Feature Store. I mean, that would make sense, store. right? Maybe mm. it's Creature Feature Store. Creature Feature Store. But that would be two S's, so that would not look appropriate. I don't know. Creature Feature Store. Creature Features Store. Mm. We'll figure it out. We'll put it right here. Yes. And, and, and he shall call it out at his next concert as yes. well. Yeah, definitely. I, I always shout out to all my friends out of my concert. It's important. It is definitely. I want to come to your next show. Well, to, you to tell the governor. <laughs> yes. No, I, I plan to ring him immediately. No, mm. but it'd be nice to go to an actual concert without having to be up on the stage. Well, I, you know that. Well, you've actually come, you know, my ACDC tribute oh, band. Oh, that's true. You have come and, and, and actually sing right. with us. And sung, was, singed with, he singed with us. Took, he sung with us a few times. It took two drinks. It was great. That's to, all right. To become brave right enough to stand next to the great Zetro. <laughs> And and but and the crowd loved plate. you, man. They they dug it. They, they, and you had a good time that they night. They only did because you told them to. No, no, no you, they would have said they're, they're very you honest. You insisted the metal crowd that they treat honest. me well because I knew that crowd would have booed me. No, had I just walked in out. You actually the nailed it. You actually nailed it. So mm. it was kind of ACDC's. It's fun. It is fun. It is a lot of fun. So thank you for coming in. It was great having you. Pleasure was entirely mine. I get to uh, do your show now. I'm gonna. I, now I owe you back one again. No, you must come up. Like, what are you doing right now? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, we just have to pick up Tangela from the mall. Okay. And then you should come do the show. Well, we could we'll go two birds with one stone. Oh, we could do that, and then I could. I don't know. We could blow something up. That's between you and Tangela. Oh, do not get involved in this. I However, if you want to stop that. the supper on the way, oh, yeah. feeling. A wee bit peckish. Yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll definitely do that. So, yes, you guys, if you if you've never heard of Creature Features, and I don't know where the hell you've been, I'm sure if you grew up in the United States somewhere, they had some form of it somewhere. But this was the guy for me. This is the guy for me now. John Stanley was a guy great over. You know, I was kind of 16, 17. I was going out to clubs by that time. I, I, I would, if I was home, I would see it, but I was the already. The show was different. It was older. nice, but it was it a was, different it was, thing. It was, it was a, a different bit different. Thing. It wasn't how Bob had it, but I still, it's Creature Features. John is a brilliant guy. It, it's great every time I do get to see him. I'm honored to get to see him and hang out with him because he was such a part of my um, childhood. And the makeup of who I am, you guys know that I love horror and it's all about metal. And you look at my set and you see how it is and it's, it just goes hand in hand. So any of you guys haven't heard of this, please go and check him out and and, and support him because it, this is really, this is old school fun television. The the banter and the shtick that goes on between him, himself and Tangella and, and Livingston is just, that's yeah, part of the best part of the show, dude. I'm sorry, it is. And uh, again, uh, you guys out there, my viewers, Subscribe to my channel if you have not and share this with everybody. And remember, keep America strong. Watch horror movies, right? This is true. That's right. And for myself and Mr. Vincent Van Dahl, we will see you in Zetro's Toxic Vault very soon.